Hello again YouTube and welcome back to Every Tech Time. So today I will do a video tutorial on how to create Python programs in Notepad++. Kind of like what I did last year when I installed, when I created a Python program in Visual Studio. This time I'll do it in, in Notepad++. So yeah, um, so yeah, um, so yeah, let's get started. So before I get started I um yeah this is the um this is just gonna be a basic um program in Python. It's not gonna be an advanced one, it's just it's just the basics of it for now. Um there there actually are two codes to do it in, such as um which I will get to throughout this throughout this tutorial. And yeah. So 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 anyway, let's get started, shall we? So first we're gonna do this so so we're going to do the same code as I did as I did last time by typing by, by first typing print just follow my lead. See how you type that first, press enter, and type import SYS. Press enter again and type from path import cost radians press enter and type for i in range parentheses 360 well I'm pretty sure you can do it whatever number you want but but for this I'm gonna choose 360 um, just because why not add a colon or a semicolon whatever it's called I um, colon, semicolon, yeah, you get the gist. And now press tab after you press enter and type print. Just follow my lead. I'm instead of just listening to my words, you can just follow what I type. Well, you don't have to, but 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 if you want to follow this tutorial um, directly, then then you can type what I do. Alright, so you type that and press enter and go back a tab and then type the following. Oh wait, actually no, that's um, that's going to be for my next code. Alright, so this is our, our first code for our Python program. So we're going to go up to File and under Save As, we can, well, we can call this an example. Well, well, you can call the file whatever you want, but, but, but this is, is a sample file, so I'm going to call it example. Now in the file type, we scroll down until we see Python. Here you go, Python file, and the file extension is .py. Click save, and there you go. Here's your first Python program. So now I'm going to um. All right, so now I'm going to show you the second code for this tutorial. So we're gonna. Start a new program. We're gonna start a new a new coding thing, a new document, what whatever you can call it, by clicking this button, um, or you can press Control N on your keyboard, whatever you want to do. And now type the following.
and now press enter and type the following again now press enter and press tab and now type this Alright, so now you press space and type plus space again and add a and add this type of quotation mark. Um not this I mean, not this quotation mark because that won't work. It's it's this one with with, with just one with, with just one thing on it. Now type zero. And there you go. Press enter again and go back a tab and then type 4 in range 360 or whatever number you want to do. And it, 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 prob it probably doesn't matter in terms of in terms of Python programming. And now add a semicolon press enter and press space now type s equals make dot string and then in parentheses you type you type i press enter again and type print and in parentheses you type s Alright, so there's your second code. Now go up to File and then click Save As. And then this is, and then because I already have a file called Example, this is going to be, I'm going to call this Python 2. Well, like I said, you can call it whatever you want, but, but, but this is my second code, and I'm, so I'm going to call it Python 2. And then again, you go down to the P section until you see the Python file extension which is .py and then I can click save alright so those are your two examples of basic Python programs in notepad++ alright so that's how you create Python programs in notepad++ so, so yeah that's how you do it so don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more tech videos like this one. That said, this is Every Tech Time, and I'll see you later.